Hi, this is James Braithwaite at Braithwaite Physiotherapy, helping you to move beautifully. Today, we're going to talk about volleyball, one of my favorite sports. It's a great sport, it's beautiful, it's elegant, it's fun to watch, it's fun to play, but like any other sport, there are injury risks in volleyball, and that's what we're here to help manage. And the risk in volleyball mainly surrounds landing from jumping, and the injury that happens when you land improperly from a jump are injuries around the knee, and more specifically, in the worst case, it's ACL injuries, which is an important ligament in your knee. The issue with the landing is landing in a valgus position, which is an internally rotated and adducted, so knee towards the midline type position. Obviously, you're not gonna do it so egregiously as this, but subtle drops into valgus position on landing from jumps, especially if done repeatedly, can cause big problems in volleyball with knee injuries. So what are you gonna do about it? It's tough, right? There's certain positions that just predispose themselves towards problematic landings. If you're a middle blocker and you've gotta do lateral jumps, if you're gonna block in an offside hit or a power hit, you're jumping towards the side, it's more challenging to land with your knee over your foot, not in a valgus position. So it's tough, right? And like any other sport, there's just risks that have to be assumed. Similarly, power hitters, or backcourt hitters often land on one leg when they land, and landing on one leg is also a risk factor for landing in this sort of valgus position. So, you know, there's some players who are just more at risk. The good news is, though, that you can train for it, just like you can train to help yourself prevent almost any injury, this is no different. You can train both the motor pattern, so your, the ability of your brain to control the position, of your landing and also your strength and power. So just how much oomph do you have to put into holding good position as you land and absorb the force from that uh, vertical movement on your jump. So let's try exercises around both of those things, the motor patterning and the power. We're gonna start with motor patterning. And the reason that I like this is this can be a great warm up as an alternative to getting onto your elliptical machine, right? Or hopping on the treadmill for a run. You can do a, a skips and hops motor patterning warm-up that's just as good and will also as your treadmill for your cardiovascular health and will also help you to um, to train the patterns of good landing okay so your first exercise uh, on uh, these motor control exercises are going to be uh, uh, ankle jumps ankle jumps look like this they're, they're basically skips right you can do it with your hands up in a blocking position right just little skips like this and we call it an ankle jump because the power is generated mostly from that plantar flexion at your ankle. So 30 seconds of ankle jumps like that. Two sets. When you land, make sure that you're landing with your knee over your foot and you're not dropped down into this sort of knocky knee valgus position. We want this one, not this one. That's bad, okay? So just do it in front of a mirror. Take a video of yourself doing it. Ask a friend to have a look at you to correct your form. Land with your knees over your feet. 30 seconds times two. Second exercise, you're gonna get yourself some kind of a barrier. I'm gonna use this hurdle, but you can just as easily pick a line on the floor or put down a piece of tape or some such thing. So I'm gonna do two exercises with my little hurdle. The first is lateral jumps side to side like this. Oops, make sure you don't trip on your barrier. Again, 30 seconds, and I'm making sure that I'm not dropping into any valgus in my knee. After you've done 30 seconds of that, 30 seconds of front to back jumps. Like this. Okay? Two sets of each of those. Side to side lateral jumps, front and back jumps over your, bar over, over your barrier, your hurdle or your line on the ground or whatever. Last but certainly not least, we're gonna do bounding. So bounding is one-legged jumping. And remember I said that did I say? I hope I did say that landing on one leg is riskier than landing on two legs, but it's still something that a lot of players do. So, tra so training that motor pattern is helpful. So if we do bounding, which is one leg is skipping like this, it can help to train good motor pattern. So again, I'm landing with my knee over my foot, no valgus type position on my land. 30 seconds, two sets, and you can tell I'm huffy and puffy just from demonstrating these exercises. So if you're doing two sets, 30 seconds of each of these. You've got a decent little warm up. You can start to add more as you get a bit more robust in your conditioning. This is a good start though, and it's a good warm up for the rest of your strength training protocol that you would normally do in the gym. So we've got our motor control exercises out of the way. Let's try a couple of 
actually three power exercises. <clears throat> First thing that we're going to do is we're going to do a plyometric box jump. You can grab a plyometric box in your gym. I'm going to use this little step that I have from Ikea. It's all good. You're going to get up onto your box, 6 inches to 12 inches, something like that. You can go higher, but this is a good place to start. You're going to jump off, and I'm going to land with good knee or foot position, and then immediately jump up into a maximal vertical jump like this. Okay? Just like I'm jumping up to hit uh, to um, execute a block at the net. Maximal jump after landing. Land with my knee in good position. Just like that. Lots of hip and knee flexion as I land, and then boom, up into a maximal jump, landing with uh, knee over foot positioning, no valgus. Three repetitions only. These are big, energetic exercises. You don't do tons and tons of reps. Three reps only on these exercises, okay? Second exercise you're gonna do is a maximal vertical jump. So it's just like that ankle jump that we were doing earlier, except that this one is as high as you can possibly go. So it looks like this. <sighs> Landing with my knee over my foot, Lots of uh, hip and, uh, and knee flexion in my landing as well. No valgus positioning. Between three and five repetitions at the most on that one, okay? Again, two sets. So that's our second power exercise. Let's do one more. We're gonna go to the hallway to do this one. Okay, we're gonna do um, a broad jump. So as far forward as we can go instead of as far vertically as we can go, okay? We're going to do two versions. One is a two-legged landing and one is a one-legged landing. Let me demonstrate a two-legged landing first. One and a two and Okay. You want to land just like we did with our other exercises with your knee over your foot, no valgus positioning, lots of hip and knee flexion. You want to stick your landing as well. So we don't want to take any extra little skips or hops after we land. One and two and None of that stuff, stick your landing, okay? If you're jumping without the ability to stick the landing, make your jump smaller. It's about control as well as power. Once we've done three repetitions of that, we can go to a one-legged version. One, and two, and. So I didn't stick that properly. Let's try that once more. One, and two. Not bad, right? So as far as you forward as you can go, with good control on your landing. You may find that there's a side-to-side -side difference. If there is, that's something for you to work on as well. But the key to all of these exercises is training the control of your landing from jumps, which is where ACL injuries happen when playing volleyball. If you want to know more about this, take a look in the description below this video for the full article that I've written with citations from scientific papers and all that good stuff. You can check out a few more details on all this in that article that I've written, which is linked in the, in the uh, description below. So check that out, okay? If you have any questions about this or any other uh, physiotherapy-related issue, feel free to reach out. I'm James Braithwaite at Braithwaite Physiotherapy, helping you to move beautifully.